Apple has just announced a few hours ago all the new features coming on iOS 18. Sadly, we did not get that clipboard, but you can now lock apps on your iPhone using Face ID or passcode. And I'm here to tell you all about it. Are you ready? Let's go. Let's start with customization. You can now customize how your iPhone looks by being able to place your apps wherever you like on the screen. You can also make your icons look bigger and what is even better is that you can also tint the color of your app icons. The control center is getting some major updates. You can now have multiple control centers for different use cases like a control center for media, home controls and other things. You can add controls from apps onto the control center and change the controls on the home screen from flashlight and camera to maybe notes and Snapchat. That one is useful for me. I won't even lie. Apple has given us access to more security. You can now lock apps on iOS 18 using Face ID and passcode. And when you lock an app, none of its information or notifications will be displayed to prevent anyone from accessing your locked app. You can also hide apps that you don't want to lock in a hidden app folder. Relationships are about to have a swell time on iOS 18. Messages. You can now react to messages using any emoji or sticker and you can now schedule messages on iMessage. You can set a birthday message for your friend by midnight and it will be sent while you sleep. Other little features include you can underline text and strike through text. Apple has added a few more text effects and you can use the satellite feature from iPhone 14 to text people when you're off the grid. Apple introduced something called game mode. Don't let the fancy name deceive you. When it is activated, it only helps you to reduce background activities so that you can have a higher refresh rate and reduce latency for wireless devices like a controller or your Apple AirPods. Your iPhone will still overheat when you play games. The Photos app also got a complete makeover where all your photos are now in one place. I don't like that. And then we got something called collections at the bottom that categorizes the photos by people, pets, groups of people, and even trips. That's fun. I don't know. The Mail app also got a redesign, but who uses that thing anyways? Definitely not me. So there you have it. That is everything about iOS 18. And you know where to find me if you need me. Ciao, guys.